Now, I found this in the wild today. I do a lot of uh, charity shop browsing to see if I can find cool stuff, uh, retro toys, old albums, band t-shirts, that sort of thing, and lots of sci-fi paperbacks. Today I found a Magic the Gathering box for a pound. Don't worry, I will remove this for a pound in cancer research. So, you know, I couldn't turn the box down, even if it was just the box. Let's try uh, get it in, people. So, um, yeah, I don't know what's in it yet. It's not full, but there's there's definitely some cards in here. Um, maybe a deck or so. Um, I'm hoping there are magic cards in there. I've not opened this yet. I thought I would save it to have a look at with you. So let us find out what's in this mystery box of magic gear from uh, charity shop today. Okay. Oh. A uh, life pad from Troll Trader Cards. Hi, trolltradercards.com. Never been there personally, but. Oh. Quite like that, that's how. Okay, let's have a look at what's in here. Yeah, there's no way a full box, but let's see what we've got here. It may all be jank. To be frank, I am uh, pleased that it's magic cards and not like football cards or something because that would be terrible. So we. Oh, is in a strad? And 12 in a strad? Oh, yeah. So. <coughs> I'm somehow doubting they'll be much in the way of mythics or, you know, stuff of great import here, but it's cool to find something in the wild. Some Magic the Gathering stuff in the wild. It is so rare that I see anything related to it out there. Sometimes I see Warhammer things, but, you know, it's... Uh, as much as I love Warhammer, it can be much of a muchness with the, the codexes. So I'm going to split these up with uh, cards, uh, with game cards on one side and uh, like lands on the other, I guess. Um, so let's see what's here. Anyway, I think there's some stuff I may use in uh, Pioneer Land. Galvanic Juggernaut. Attacks each turn if able. Galvanic Juggernaut doesn't untap during your untap step. Whenever another creature dies, untap Galvanic Juggernaut. Handy. Looks like there's some good stuff in here for, for some um, formats. Oh, I'll just stick them all in one pile. I'm not fussing. Let's have a look. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Let's see if we've got anything. Oh, hello. A foil of Falcon Wrath Mar uh, Marauders. Two red and three generic for a creature, Vampire Warrior. 2-2 with flying and haste. Whenever Falcon Wrath Marauders deals combat damage to a player, put two plus one plus one counters on it. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Nice uh, nice foil there. And a tiny bit of warping, but not much. Uh, mm, curse of Storm Prey. Fair enough. Nice rare. Tormented Pariah. See, I'm wondering if this was someone's deck. There's, uh, it's pretty much all red and black. There's a few, oh, I see a few green in there. Hmm. But I do think this may be someone's deck. It's larger than a deck. But you know, not everyone plays with the 60 cards. This is pretty much all. Innistrad, isn't it? Scourge of Gaia Reach. Two red and three generic. Four, three, three, elemental. Uh, gets plus one, plus one for each creature your opponent's control. Oh, that could be good. That could be good if your opponent has tons and tons of tokens or something. You know, that could be really good. Oh, Balefire Dragon. We have a mythic. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a mythic in my one pound. Uh, magic purchase. So, yeah, 6-6 six, six Mythic for the Balefire Dragon. Uh, whenever Balefire Dragon deals combat damage to a player, it deals that much damage to each creature that player controls. 
That is nice. None of these are sleeved. I would have liked that to have been sleeved, but hey, I only paid a pound for this box. Uh, I think I've seen that selling for around £15 or so, so that's pretty cool. I've definitely got my uh, my pounds worth out of this. Okay, so we've got some green here. Still in a strand. Uh, you gain two life for each creature card in your graveyard. Cool, what else we've got here? Ambush Viper, nice. Voice of the Spirit, Dream Twist, Child of Night. There seems to be a, a vampire theme going on here. Ah, lifelink. Some lifelink. Can't go wrong with a bit of lifelink. Swamp, Swamp, Mountain. Saying you're a vampire. I love the art on that. I love the classic sort of Nosferatu feel to the artwork on that. I've always loved that card. Epic. Although it does remind me of um, Radu from the subspecies movies. If you know about the subspecies movies, then you have uh, indeed endured several treats. Look off Patrician. <laughs> lifelink. Sacrifice a creature, gain life to the equal to that creature's toughness. Yeah, I'm seeing a lifelink theme here. The Mask of Avacyn, Crescent Innate. So yeah, I don't think I've done bad. Four pound here. Hmm. Golden Urn. I'll see one of those for a while. Grisham Deformity, basically my face. Tectonic Rift. I like Tectonic Rift. Fireball. Not seen a fireball for a while. Oh, this looks nice. Hello. Foil. Tovalos Mage Hunter. Creature Werewolf. Dated 3rd of February 2012, no less. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, Tovalos Mage Hunter deals two damage to that player at the beginning of each upkeep. If a player casts two or more spells on that turn, transform Tovalos Mage Hunter. And if I'm not mistaken, this is double sided. A double sided foil. Not particularly valuable, but that is very cool looking. Love it. Love it. Let's see if there's anything else in here. There's some um, people playing Vampire the Masquerade there. <laughs> Creature Hunger. Yeah, this isn't bad. This isn't bad. It's certainly well worth a pound. So to whoever donated that to uh, Cancer Research, thank you. Please donate some more things that I can pick up for a pound. That would be awesome because I haven't had the chance to go and get any packs of Zendikar Rising yet. I want to get them from my local game store um, rather than buying them elsewhere. Ghostly Possession. Oh, that's nice art. That art's lovely. Yeah, so. Not bad at all. I have to get my fix somehow. So, yes. Not bad for £1. Thank you very much for uh, donating that. Awesome. I'm going to go and sort these into things I want to keep, things I want to put into decks, and things I may trade or sell. Thank you.